everyone. How are you all today? Let's see who is here. It looks like we got a good crowd. Hey, Don. Hi, Kim. Hi, Sherry and Tristan and Mary. Hello. Hi, James. <laughs> and Denise. Hello. Hello. And Linda and Melissa. So good to see everybody here. So exciting. All right. Well, don't be overwhelmed by what you see here. Um, it looks like a lot, but I'm only picking little pieces from some of them. That's one of the things I love about Lawn Fawn is how, and hey, Kitty, and how um, everything just kind of mixes together so beautifully, honestly. So um, we'll talk about that as we get to them and we'll, we'll bring in each of the sets, but we're gonna be making a flippy flappy. I know that this isn't exactly new. Hi, Karen. Hello, Mayhem. Um, I know this isn't exactly, I think it was new in September of last year, but um, these are fun. These are fun. If you haven't seen them, I went ahead and made one ahead of time. And here it is. Uh, and it's interactive, obviously. So isn't that fun? So there's a couple different ways you can do it. I made this one, obviously, for a gift card. And hey, PJB, you're bacon bacon. <laughs> That sounds like a good reason to be quiet. Trissa, hello from Maryland. Handy Scandy, hello Nancy. Yes, so um, we're gonna be making one of these and I learned some things along the way of making this and I would love to share some of those tips and tricks as we go along. So this is what it is and um, this is the paper. I can't find the paper pad anywhere, but obviously, you know, we all have tons of pattern paper, so just grab whatever's in your stash and have fun with it. But this is the Hello Sunshine Remix. So if you have that, you can grab that and play along. Um, otherwise, hey, Carol. Um, otherwise, you know, just use what you got. So this is a fun paper pad, but can't find it anywhere. So we'll set that off to the side. And I also have, I brought in this Heffy Doodle die. Um, I brought in the Meow You Doing, only for the party hat. I know you're surprised I'm not coloring up I'm not coloring up all the kitties I figured this time I'd give you all a break and then we brought in the oh gnome because I wanted the present and then we brought in the little dragon because I wanted his little cake and candle and then our main guy is the extra amazing Easter and this one was sent to me by one of y'all and I could not wait to use it. It was sent to me last year uh, and I couldn't wait for spring. Yes, I'm going to be playing with it in the spring as well because, you know, it's so darn cute, but I really wanted the bunnies. So we've got our bunnies. Let me bring out what we've got and we'll actually probably do our coloring first and then we'll start getting into it. So here is what I stamped out and what we're going to color. And Miles is in here. I don't know what he's doing. I. I can't see him because he's hidden behind the computer. He may be trying to mess with things because he can tell that I am super busy. The other, oh, it's snowing there. Well, they say it's supposed to snow here. We will see if that actually happens. Um, I'm gonna bring in these bits as we, as we use them. But here are our images that we're gonna color. Um, I think he got bored, maybe he's leaving. And if anybody saw my Instagram, that was a, a picture of both of the boys, Miles and Max, on my craft chair. So because I just, my kids will say that I'm like just whooped by these cats. I couldn't move them. So I had to use a completely different chair. And I was like, what am I gonna do when it comes time to actually have to craft? Well, thankfully one of them got up. So I was like, okay, I don't feel quite as bad moving the other one. So I've got my chair back. Hey, Mary Hunt. All right, so let's zoom in and we'll do our coloring. All right. So what is everybody up to today, this weekend? Anything fun? Is it still cold where y'all are? Because it is a little chilly here today, for sure. <laughs> I will tell him you said so, Carol. He took off. He's bored. If I close the door, he'll want to come back in. But we're going to just go ahead and leave it open for now. I'm going to use some W's because the colors that I chose were a lot of, well, they're all over the rainbow. But um, I figured I would do our little bunnies in warm. And this time, I'm actually going to color backwards. I'm going to start dark to light. Hi, Cairo. Bracing for a nor'easter blizzard. Oh no, no. 
you love coloring. Oh, so James is on Facebook. I if you if you can't catch me on YouTube, sometimes I try to put it up on Facebook as well, and it worked out. So we're on Facebook. <laughs> Um, but let's go ahead and get started. We've got our W1, 3, and 5. And like I said, I'm going to kind of work backwards from here. So I'm just adding some shadow and shading where I think it would look good. Yeah. So it's a, it's saying it's supposed to snow here. Cold here in Oklahoma. Ooh, Linda, you're expecting 24 inches, Melissa. Melissa. Oh my goodness. If you're freezing, Kim. We're celebrating our baby girl's birthday. Oh, she's 19. You're about to get some Korean barbecue with some church friends. Expecting snow sooner or later in Maryland. Oh, Tristan, stay warm, honey. Especially since you're not... Well, maybe you're getting used to the cold now. Maybe you are. All right. So I'm just going to start dragging that color. I'm trying to see if I can get a little better at doing dark to light. And it's I'm working, it's working okay. I'm doing it. We're getting there. And then I am going to bring in that W5 one more time just to add a little bit, keeping it right to that edge. So it can be done, I guess. You can teach an old dog new tricks, huh? Below zero here in Michigan. Oh my goodness, it's cold every cold in Oklahoma. Yep. Yeah, you're getting used to it now, thankfully. Oh good, Tristan. I hope you have a nice thick jacket. We are headed up to Kansas uh, mid-February for, I guess I'll be there for a week and James will be there for two weeks, but I actually didn't have a winter coat anymore. I, at least I couldn't find it. <laughs> So, uh, unfortunately, had to grab one, and I mean, watch, it won't even be cold there while we're there. <laughs> that would be the luck. That would be the luck. Um, but yeah, so that, we're going to be there just for, I'll be there for just a week. And since it's the Midwest, you just never know, maybe it won't be cold. We'll see. Okay. See, I'm not super great at it. Just need a decent jacket. What well, you are used to it now, Tristan. My goodness. <laughs> yeah, you must be used to it if all you need is a, a light jacket for 30 degree weather. Dude, I'm proud of you. <laughs> I remember those days though, because I remember growing up in Nebraska and I was like, well, if it's going to be 70 degrees at all today, I can wear shorts. <laughs> I wouldn't, wouldn't be caught dead doing that now. Yes, now I'll be prepared if it's cold or not. It's chilly out there, Pam. I guess Max and Miles are not doing the live then. Sorry, Mariska. Well, Miles was in here for a little while. I thought he was going to participate before I hit live. He was standing here, and then I hit live, and then he decided to run off. Not really run off. I think maybe Dad has is doing something out there that is more enticing to him than hanging out with me here. I don't know. So... That would be quite entertaining if they did, though, right? And probably messy. So it's working okay for me to do this dark to light. It's not terrible. I don't know how it would be if I decided to go with colors that were too far apart from each other. But it's working. And thankfully I chose bunnies, so those are pretty easy. It's decent in San Diego. It's always decent in San Diego, isn't it, Mary? Ugh, it's probably why you live there. Probably why you live there. All right, and then we'll get this little guy, which he's the same as, so I stamped him out twice. Postal carrier was wearing shorts. Oh my goodness. That just, oh no, 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 no. No worries, Barbara, hello, welcome. <laughs> so tonight after this, 
James and I are going to head over to, and this is going to be sweet to say, my daughter and son-in-law's house. We're going to go have dinner with them. My son-in-law is working, um, so hopefully we'll catch him at the tail end, but um, yeah, we're excited to go over and see them. Should be fun. Always fun. Yeah. Okay, so they're good there. Now let's bring in some other colors. I'm just gonna go ahead and start popping down color. I'm kinda going out of the lines there. Aren't they cute, Linda? I just love these. No, Mariska, you're good. So we're gonna be making a flippy flappy and I haven't gone into what that actually is yet. I did show, uh, I did show one example that I made of the flippy flappy and I'll show that again as we get going. It is a fun little card, honestly. Uh, you know how Lawn Fawn just does those really great interactive elements. So I'm excited about that, that should be Okay, and I'm gonna make this a chocolate cake. So then we'll add, some, whoops, some darker. All right, blend that out. Okay, now we need to do their little tummies. So I'm gonna try again to do the dark to light. We've got RV34, R83, and R81. Hi, Beth. Welcome. You're taking a break from decluttering to watch and grab a bite to eat. All right. It's why. Oh, yeah. It. You know what? They are a lot of fun. That, I think, when I saw what it can do and the potential, I was like, I need to have that <laughs> need, right? I don't know that I need any more new stuff, but it sure was, it's been fun to play with. And I bought it myself. So. Okay. Yeah, all right. And I, you know, I definitely shouldn't be buying anything else because I definitely need more. I need Copic refills so desperately. It's not even funny. Okay, so we're doing all right on this dark to light bit. We're making it happen. Okay. There we go. All right, oh, they're so cute. Okay, so now they're all colored. They're fun, let's zoom out. And let's get to making this card. Ooh, don't wanna zoom out too much, then you'll see the mess that is my desk. Wait, 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 what's going on, Beth? We're in grandbaby countdown less than a month, Beth, yay! Oh, it's beginning to snow now, huh, Tristan? Oh, goodness, okay. How exciting, Beth, I'm so excited for you. All right, so this was the card, and we're gonna make something similar. Ooh. It's like any of these interactives, though. The more you play with it, the better it is. All right, so let's get into it. Let's talk about what we need. I went ahead and cut out a bunch of things. Hello, Jenny. Craft space reorganization arriving. Oh, good for you, Pam. Good for you. So I went ahead and cut out everything I was going to need. We'll bring in the die so that you can see it again. This is our flippy flappy die. Let's pull those off to the side. All right, I don't know why that's sticking to it, but it is. Aw, Nana. Thought it would be Graham cute, but she vetoed it. <laughs> I'd be okay if I were called Granny even. I don't care. Um, okay, so all the pieces. Let's talk about them as we use them. All right, so first and foremost, what you're going to need is a piece of white cardstock. Don't pay attention to the fact that it's already die cut. 
but you're going to need a piece of white cardstock or any color cardstock really, but this isn't going to be seen so it really doesn't matter. You're going to need a piece of cardstock that measures three and three fourths inches by five inches. So it's basically if you took an A2 size card and you cut a half an inch off of the long side and the short side. Okay, so three and three quarters by five inches. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this die and all it does, you can see, I'll show you up close, all it does is it has cuts for three sides, right here, here, and here, and then it has score lines in the middle. This does not die cut out, all right? I'm a Grammy, oh, that's sweet. Hi, Maddie Lambert. Clean up Wednesday after you're live from the large bang. <laughs> okay, so Kitty, let me just tell you, if anybody had watched while I was doing the live for Trinity Stamps, so I feel kind of obligated since it's not my channel that I just kind of have to do, right? Just kind of work through unless somebody's like injured or whatnot, then we just need to go, right? Just keep going because it's not my channel. Um, what had happened, thankfully I'd kept the lid on nice and tight, but the boys had found the M&M container that was from Costco. It was peanut M&Ms and thankfully that's plastic and they knocked it off the counter. So they knocked it off, it was on tight, so all they did was push it around a little bit. Whew, we dodged a bullet, I'll just say that, okay. All right, so what you're gonna do with this die is you're going to butt it right up against, and I love how Lawn Fawn does this with their, their interactive, they make it really pretty easy. You're gonna butt it right up against the edge. I have this centered to show you just this. You can, if you decide you wanna move it over, you can move it over to the sides, um, but for the most part, you, you wanna kinda of stay, you, you need to leave a little bit of space, I'll just say that. So what I did is I you know, put that down, ran that through my die cutting machine, and this is what you're going to get, okay? You can see that it already has the score lines in there and you're done with this die. Our next thing we're gonna wanna do is start folding all of these pieces on their score line. And if you want to use like a bone folder to make sure that you are getting a very good crease, that's great. And you're just gonna work down each one of those. Score it up really good. Each one. and then even that final one. So, all right. Now, another thing, another good suggestion would be to label your pieces. Now, I'm doing this knowing full well that none of this is going to show. So I'm gonna put front on the front. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna write back on the back. We all know that when we die cut things, there's typically a front and a back. And now what you're gonna to wanna to do is start folding these backwards. We want these to be nice and creased both ways because this is our mechanism that kind of rolls to, to show you or to show the recipient the little surprise inside. Oh. Okay, so there's front, there's back. I'm gonna leave it like that. The next thing we need is a piece this like this. And this comes from this die, and you can see it does this cute little stitching, and you will see parts of this, but not all of it. So, um, and it cuts a slit right in here, and there's a front and a back to here, and we are going to label it at the top. If you wanna label one side and not the other, you can do that, you can get away with that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, good idea. Hi, Candy couple of lives going so you're trying to hit them all oh that's fun that's fun um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark on the front and back I'm just gonna write front and I'm gonna write back on this one because this is definitely the back of it because it has all those like you know from from my very used cutting plate and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stick this in this little slot in there inside that slot and We'll see, okay, there we go. Kind of try to center that up and I'm gonna push it just past where it folds. Yeah, I hate it when I don't use my supplies too, which is why I've been trying to go through and do, you know, grab out things that I haven't used in a while or, um, you know, play with stuff that maybe hasn't seen the light of day yet. 
All right, now the next step you wanna, wanna do is use a very strong adhesive. I suggest like a quarter inch score tape would be great, or this is from scrapbook.com. Now they're out of theirs. I did look, but um, they're out of it. So, you know, use something that you had. You could use liquid glue. Liquid glue would work, but you, you know, you definitely need to sit a minute and let it actually dry. So I'm gonna put that on the flap. So you can see it's up on that flap. I'm going to peel off that release paper and then we're just going to fold that right down on top of that. Okay? So that's on there nice and tight. And then we're going to flip it over and we're going to start playing with the mechanism. It's going to get caught, but that's okay. What we need to do is train it. We're trying to train the piece to flip out like this. So the more you play with it, the better it'll be like always with these things. So far, not too comp. It's not too bad. Hi, Heather. Your nine to five job got in the way. <laughs> I've heard that. <laughs> okay, so um, so yeah, it's, it's really not too terribly complicated. And the more you make, like any of them I find, you know, if you're gonna go ahead and, yeah, I am using a new microphone. Um, if you're gonna go ahead and buy one of these these type of dies, you might as well play with it a bunch, right? Because these aren't these aren't cheap. These are kind of pricey. And <laughs> Pam, <laughs> that's funny. Does your employer not understand the importance of our lives? Right? We all need to be chatting with each other. Okay, so there we have that part done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it back over on its back. Now, now we're going to add a little bit of foam tape to it. And I grabbed out at least I thought I did. Okay, here it is. I'm grabbing out the five millimeter wide, three millimeter deep foam tape from Heffy Doodle. But if you have regular foam tape, just double it up. The, it's very important though, um, it's very important though that you do have something that is thick enough because we need this mechanism to be able to move back and forth. And I say that I'm bringing, or I'm using the, the five millimeter rather than the 12 millimeter, which you could use both. I actually did use 12 millimeter on the other card that I made. You just want to be really careful because you need to make sure that your whatever you're trying to move in and out has plenty of room. So I'm just going to stick this right on the edges, and we'll cut that. So obviously this is going to be the back. You know, it, when I first thought about writing what was front and back, it is kind of important to you know that you know which side is which. But when I first thought about it, I was like, oh, I, I can't do that. It's going to get seen, but it doesn't. So even on the front, it does not. All right. So there you've got that. So now the next step would be to bring in a panel. And so I went ahead and die cut this panel out using that Heffy Doodle Imperial die. So this is the Imperial Stitch Rectangle. You know, go through your stash and see whatever die you have if you want a rectangle die or just go ahead and cut it down love the dies aren't they great yes mayhem i could not agree more oh do you you do make good use of the internet thank you kitty i really do try if i'm going to spend that kind of money on a die i'm going to use it so um <laughs> Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad y'all like it. Thank you. Impossible question, but if one could only get one interactive die set, which would you recommend? That really is a very tough one. There are so many great ones out there. I really love the slider that Heffy Doodle has, you know, the pull slider that opens like I did the other last, uh, not last week, a couple weeks ago. I really love that one. I feel like that one's super easy. Um, if you're just trying to start out and you want something like fairly simple, I feel like that one is a really good one to start with, Pam. And, you know, once you get the hang of those and you start to feel some confidence, then maybe you'll start delving into some other interactives. Because I remember, gosh, when I first started my channel, the Magic Iris is definitely a great one, Marie. I That was my first thought, but that one is definitely a little bit more uh, intricate. So there's a lot more to it. It does have a lot more possibilities for add-ons that you could do. So, you know, yeah, I love the Magic Iris so much. Maybe I'll have to do a Magic Iris in the next couple weeks. How does that sound? I love Magic Iris. Uh, even though I've done them on the lives before, they're just, I've made so many Magic Iris, they're, I just can't seem to get enough of them. 
So yeah, that's definitely a very good one. But if you're just trying to start out, I recommend one of those easy sliders like I did a couple of weeks ago. Uh, all right, so back to this one. The, you're gonna wanna cut this to the full front of an A2 size. And I say that because I made the mistake of thinking, well, if this is three and three quarters by five inches, I could make this one four inches by five and a quarter. And I tried that, I did put one together like that. And the problem came in that when I was pulling this out, this part, the back of it got caught on here. So I do recommend that you do something that would be the full front of an A2 size card. So keep that in mind. Two on the way and two more. Congratulations. That's so exciting. Oh, that is so exciting. Okay, so now that I've got this set, what we're going to do is we're going to peel off our release paper. We're going to go ahead and start attaching stuff so we can get this baby going. Me too, Beth. I love the magic iris. Yeah, if you just want something that is super fun and you're willing to, you know, play around and see how that's going to work, Magic Iris is always a win and everybody loves to get those. Okay, so now I'm just going to, now that the release paper's taken off, I'm just going to center that on there. And then once that's on there, you'll see that this piece will kind of butt up against there. Mine kind of sticks out a little bit. It's not going to make a big difference, but... Then you can just start playing and making sure that everything goes as planned. And we're, you know, we got this good. You feel very privileged to have a Cassie Magic Iris home. Aw, kitty. That's awesome. Okay, so now this part is done. We can start decorating our panel. All right, so we can set this off to the side. And we can start decorating our panel, which is where these little pieces come in. So this one comes from the... Oh, did I not show that one earlier? The giant happy birthday. I don't think I showed this earlier. I love this giant happy birthday. I love all the giant ones they have because um, they can fill like the whole front of a card, which is fabulous. So I have the happy birthday. That's one I use a lot. I think I'm going to have to get the thank you also. Um, so that's that die. And I did die cut it twice because I want to do a shadow. So I'm going to pull this off. I have these glued or taped in there. And the reason I'm doing that is because I tried to center these when I cut them so that I can use them for another card. So this whole piece can go for another card. So I'm just going to carefully try and peel this off because I don't want to lose any of those pieces. We'll see if we can do it without destroying because the whole point is I do want to keep all those little pieces. Okay. All right, I think we got most of it other than this piece and that's okay if it's not. I just want to save these so I can do like a, another, another card, you know, maybe have like a shaker where that all comes through. So I'm gonna save this. Didn't do a very good job with that tape. So there's that one, and then I, w I did die cut it out of yellow and did the same thing with this one as well. Wanted to make sure that I could save the piece so that I could make another card later. Right, waste not, want not. And I always need birthday cards. Okay, well, I didn't even stick that to anything. <laughs> okay, so I don't lose this little piece and that little piece, I'm just gonna make sure that they're stuck on here somehow. And then I can save these and make other cards later. Okay. You just got your magic iris? Ooh, Karen, yay, you're gonna have so much fun. Did I say hi to you, Jenny? Hello, Jenny. Oh, my daughter that's pregnant was a preemie, so was my 6'4 hubby. <laughs> Your 6'4 hubby was uh, a preemie. My 6'4 hubby weighed 12 pounds when he was born. 12 pounds, 7 ounces. I was so terrified I was going to have giant babies. <laughs> okay, so on this one, I did them with yellow first, but I think I'm going to do it with red first on this one. So let's, let's do that. Hold that with our, with our tweezers. He'd probably kill me for saying that. Maybe I should have asked first. Okay. And I'm just putting glue on there. No big deal. Keeping in mind that it is going to be off-centered a little bit, so I'm trying to stick mostly to 
um, the far right hand side as you look at the back. Okay. <laughs> Hi Mary on Facebook, you're double dipping. <laughs> I appreciate it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just kind of stick those off to the side. So that gives this fun little 3D effect. I love doing that, I think that's so fun. Of course, I'm getting glue everywhere, but that is okay too. Oh, yeah. I will have to watch one of your videos again when I play with mine. Well, Karen, I have them all in a whole playlist. So if you wanna go check out that whole playlist of all the magic irises, Lady, you go hit it up and you have fun playing because I know you're going to have a good time. Oh, they were really close together as far as weight, Cairo. My kids were about a pound difference, 7'6 six and 8'6. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and glue this down to our front. So I can just put glue all over the back here. Right. Okay, so we got plenty of glue on there. I suppose you could pop it up, but keep in mind you already have a good amount of um, height already by using this. So I've got that popped down. We're not gonna make the gift card one this time. Six, seven, Melissa, oh my. Oh, did I miss something? Kyra, what did you make? I just made a birthday card for my mammy. I wish I could post a picture. Oh, Cairo, post a picture on Instagram and yeah, absolutely tag me because uh, then uh, others might get a chance to see it as well. I would love, I would love to see that. And, and the same goes for any of y'all. Tag me on social media. Hi, Natalie. Uncle Matt is on here. Uh, my Uncle Matt. Looks like he's on Facebook checking it out. Thanks, Uncle Matt. Okay, so there we have that. Let's pull in our little guys, and I'm going to start dressing them up. I went ahead and... Oh, so we got him. We have a present. I'm so glad you, you caught it too, Natalie. Thanks for being here. And we've got a hat for everybody. What is going on? Okay, you know, I wonder if my die didn't cut it all the way because I had this problem on the last one that I tried to pull out. So this particular little guy might need to be cut. It might be my die that is a little bit janky. So let's, gonna have to trim him out of here. This happened on the other one. So I'm gonna try and trim around. and it's just his ear and it was the same spot so I'll have to check that die and make sure that it is all tip top awesome Cairo I'm excited to see it my hubs granny said she used to wash him in the roasting pan oh <gasps> Beth my mother-in-law did the same thing with my husband should I have not said that James <laughs> whoopsie okay so Let's pull out our pickup stick. And I don't know if you saw this, but Trinity Stamps has a brand new pickup stick. And this one is even better than the last one. Um, and it's really pretty. So same good price, I think. But yes, new pickup stick. If you're in the market. I don't have it linked down below, but. Okay. okay. Let's put little hats on all of our little celebrators I do too Carol it's so sweet when they watch I feel very very loved very loved it's a family business sort of like all this military stuff that we do <laughs> that's actually where I'm going in February with James is a military thing um, so that'll be interesting. Okay. 
Okay, we're gonna put the candle on there. And then, so I'm saving this little guy and this little guy. So we're gonna set those two off to the side. I'm gonna glue him down to the front. Is it really, Mariska? I thought I saw that it was on there now. Um, I thought, I because I checked earlier, was it earlier today? Maybe it's gone. Maybe it's not in stock right now. Hmm. I'll have to look. Okay, so we're going to make it look like he's just touching the birthday, like, happy birthday, he's so excited. Do you crap? <laughs> Do you mayhem? You make everyone leave the house. In the beginning, I had to do that too. Hmm. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this guy, because I do need him to be holding those, or I want him to be holding those, I'm going to put a present in one hand. And we're going to put the cake in the other hand. Okay. So there's what he's got. All right, now what I can do, which I don't think I'm going to do it yet. I'm going to I'm going to pull this part out first. All right, so now moving on, we're going to go back to our mechanism. All right, here's our mechanism. And there are two more pieces that you need to have cut. And I'll show you those on the die. So here is, you can't see it really because it's in my hands, but it is an acetate piece. You want something clear. That's going to be the most helpful. Oh, darn it, Beth. Well, you know what? As soon as I know that it's available, I will link it in my community page, but I'll keep looking. Oh, no, Mary. Well, I'm glad you're here. They must have restocked. I checked earlier this week. Okay, well, let me check again, and then if it is, I'll post a link to it. So there's these two pieces right here. You see those? You're going to want like a white one or whatever your color is here. And that is just, you'll see as we, we get to it, but this piece is an acetate piece that I cut out. And I actually don't use acetate. I use uh, transparency film just because it's so inexpensive. And in order to attach this, I am again gonna use some hefty little tape here. This is the best stuff, uh, like a score tape or this scrapbook.com tape. I'm just gonna put some of it down there, peel off that release paper, and now you could put your acetate sheet, you could put it far over here, you could put it in the middle, you can do it over here, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it right in the middle. And then we're gonna use another piece of the scrapbook.com tape, which I have score tape, I think, linked down below because scrapbook.com is typically always out of this stuff. And then I'm gonna peel that off, and this is where this piece comes in, because that's kind of ugly if you look at it, it's just kind of ugly. The pickup stick is from Trinity, Carol. Yeah, it's, it is a very popular product because it, it's inexpensive. And actually, if you couldn't get the old one, the new one, I think, is better. I, um, I have both, and I thought that the old one was fine, but the new one, I feel like, is even better, so. Oh. I will have to tell her about your daughter-in-law. Okay, God bless. Okay, do you need to get going, Beth? Because if so, goodbye, sweet lady. All right, so here I'm gonna have, this is what I want jumping out. I want this little guy jumping out. I'm so excited, I want him jumping out. So we're gonna go ahead and put some of that tape on there. I don't want him showing. So we're just gonna put him, he should be fine. So I'm gonna, And just think of the possibilities of what you could have jumping out and surprising people. Absolutely, Carol. Okay, so I'm going to stick him down. He's going to cover up part of the happy birthday when he pops out, but that is okay. And if you have any leftover acetate sticking out at the top, you can always trim that down. So let's make sure that he is... Oh, you know what? He is poking through. So that is another thing I learned. You do need to kind of keep him... I thought that's what I was supposed to have done. Let's do this so that we don't tear him. Okay, so it looks like I probably will have some hanging out the top. 
All right, so I'm gonna trim that off and hope that his ears this time aren't showing when I close them up. Okay, he is hidden now, see? He's not showing and he'll just pop out. And the more you play with it, <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach this down to the front of here. Don't take your glue and just go all over the back because you need, you need this part of the mechanism to obviously be able to move freely. So you could use like some liquid glue or tape runner or whatever. I don't typically like tape runners. It doesn't stay as much, but just avoid that open area. Okay. And this is what I was talking about by now we're covering up that mess on the back. All right. <laughs> right, Beth? He barely fit in it. I have a picture. I don't know where it is exactly, but it's in here somewhere and it was the cutest. He was smiling. He was like a few days old. <laughs> Isn't that fun, Mary? You have the old Trinity pickup stick, but you can never have too many. I agree because it seems like I often misplace them, Mayhem, and then I'm like, oh, but I think that other one's fine. I have it sitting right in here. I'm sure I'll grab both of them. Okay, so here we have, oh, look at what he does. Why does that make me so stinking happy? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so then our next step would be to, um, if you wanted, you could use this piece to cut a flap in this, but I didn't do it on this piece, so I'm not gonna do it on this piece. Um, however, you could do that if you really, really wanted to. The other piece that's in here, and this will just cut out a little tab for your thumb, is what that'll do. The other piece is this one, so if you wanna decorate this portion, you sure can. Uh, but I think what I'm gonna do is, I am going to, I think I'm just gonna leave it for now. I'm just gonna leave it for now because we're already at 42 minutes. Right, Mariska? I'm, f I'm just so in love with this one, right? It's so stinking cute. Ah, okay. So let me go ahead and get my, my whatever this is, my card base ready. It, oh yeah, I know, I'm telling you. And then think, like I said, think of, the, I was already going through the rest of my stuff. Think of all the fun things that you could have poking out. And obviously not just lawn fawn, although there's tons of great lawn fawn ones that would for, w work really, really well. Um, just anything in your stash, right? Any, any little images. The only thing you'd want to make sure is that when you do have them in there that they stay covered because you don't want them to show. All right, so on the inside of our card, I'm just going to put this little bunny. He's the only one I'm going to put in there. Although you could go crazy. I'm just gonna put him in there. And you could put another little happy birthday message in there if you wanted. And then I'm gonna glue this guy down. <laughs> right, Cairo? Oh golly, I know, I'm just. It's, it's funny when you look at the interactive dies, how sometimes you're like, ah, oh, not even gonna try that. But then you see how simple it can be and you're like, okay, I must have it. <laughs> And this was one of them that I was like, must have it in my stash. Okay, so that's on there. You could go to town adding some little embellishments. And, but look, <laughs> he's so cute. I love it so much. Hi, Star. All right, thanks, Sherry. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Cairo and Heather and DK, Deb, no, you're fine, Deb, no worries. It, yes, Riska, Carol, Kitty, Mary, and Mary. Awesome, okay. So there we have it, that was that one. Um, and then once again, here was the one that I made that uses the gift card holder. I'm gonna make a bunch of these for Christmas. The one thing I would say, because I played with it a lot, um, you definitely need to make sure that you, if you do the gift card holder, you'll have to butt it right up to the edge. And this was the one that was also getting caught on when I tried to make it smaller. You definitely want this to be the full front of an A2 size card. So, and then playing with it, it plays and works a lot better when it's got the heavy piece on it. Thanks Mayhem and Natalie. 
Oh, would you now, Mariska? <laughs> Those of us with fat fingers would probably appreciate that. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mary. <laughs> there's a decent, there's a decent little, little edge right there. <laughs> But yeah, these ones with the gift card holder definitely work better when the gift card is on there. So this one doesn't even have anything on it, but I just stuck it on there as a placeholder so that if I just wanted to play with it, which clearly I'm wanting to play with it. Yes, it is such a good investment, Deb. I could not agree more. I love it, Pam. I love it. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Marie. Yes, yeah, someone will get this card. Actually, I may just pick two winners this week and we'll have one of each, you know, I'll, I'll send out both of these. Um, I'm going to take the, I may just leave the gift card on there, but just know that there's nothing on the gift card. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So yeah, I'm going to do that uh, at the end of this. So whoever's commented, I'm going to go through the comments and I will send one of you. And yes, it could go international. Um, that I don't mind at all. So we've got those. I did want to take this opportunity since I've got you. I know this is going a little bit long. Thank you, Mary. I know, I know, such a great die. I want to show you some of the cards that get sent to me. So I still have, um, I have some from Christmas that I wanted to share. Your birthday's in March, Michael. That's on Facebook. That's my neighbor. Good to know that's coming up. <laughs> Hello, neighbor. Um, so I've got this one from Vaughn Marie. Check it out. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Isn't that pretty? I love the, the different colors on that one. Then we have, let's see. This is one from Laura Vance. Check that out. I love that. I love the simplicity of it. And then I love the, um, the picket fence, that's a picket fence die. It looks like you use Distress Oxides on there. I love that. I think that is so, so pretty. Oh, yeah. that Yeah, that is a good way to use the die, Deb. Then Mariska, who is on here, lady, check out that cute, 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 cute card. I love it. I want to see. Okay, she did put, tis the season to be jolly. May your Christmas be super fun. And she's got some fun little, this is embossed. And then she's she used crystal effects or some sort of glossy accents on there. I love it. All right. That is that one. Love it, love it. Then we've got this one. This one is from Denise. Check out how pretty that is. It's so subtle. It's embossed, an embossed tree. And then she did some very subtle sponging over the top. I think that is so beautiful. Yeah, absolutely, Deb. It's one of my favorite things. When I get these cards, I mean, I save them. I love them. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, and then we have, oh, this one's pretty too. This one is from Amanda from Pear Blossom Press. Check that out. It's like a shimmery cardstock. And then she's got these beautiful embossed snowflakes with some jewels. How pretty is that? And then that is popped up. That is so pretty. Yep. Mariska's talent. Y'all are talented. I've seen some of the stuff y'all do. I'm telling you, y'all are talented. Then I have this one from the one and only Carrie Rhodes. You all know who Carrie Rhodes is. Check that out. Super pretty. And she did some foiling on the snowflake. Ooh. Oh my goodness. And check it out. It opens up. So that way you can put your little message on the snowflake behind it. I love that that is a window. How cool. I know, kitty. I... I'm blown away by the talent that y'all have on the regular. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Tasha, Tasha Davies sent me this one. Isn't that so pretty? I love the um, die cutting in the background. And then she's done some sponging. And we've got the season's greetings on some glittery cardstock. So pretty. This next one. This is the last Christmas card. This one is from Sierra. How pretty is that too? There's, it's white heat embossed and then she did some coloring on that and then she did a lot of fun splatter and then this is all velvety. How pretty is that? Love it. And then one more card I wanted to show. This one was sent to James and it's so, so cool. I love it. Um, this one is from Laura Vance as well. Check that out. I love the trees. Those are embossed on the background and she put get 
and then I have to show you what she did better soon. Is that not super cool? <laughs> They're so pretty. And I, I love that y'all are appreciating this so much as well. And if, does anyone know where to get black pearlized cards? Ooh, that's a good question, Pam. I'll have to keep an eye out. Yeah, such beautiful cards. Um, so those are the ones I wanted to show you this week. Yeah. Hmm. And the love to send, yes. So, so many talented people and I know you all are a part of that. You know, whether you guys are paper crafters or you're a crafter of a different kind, I believe we're all meant to be crafty. We were all created to be creative. And so I love seeing the talent that you all have. Sometimes people will just message me with like a card that they've made, like check out this card I made. Talk about make my heart happy. I love that. So, you know, if anybody wants to send a card, not that I'm not trying to solicit for that, but if anybody wants to send me an email and I'll send you my address. Um, I love getting them. I do. I love it. And you know, we're all crafty people. We can appreciate the, the time and effort that goes into these things. So yeah, absolutely beautiful cards. Y'all are so talented. All right. So once again, look to my community page. I'm probably going to try to post it tomorrow. If I have some time, I'll take some pictures of these and post tomorrow who gets them. Uh, but thank you for spending time with me today, y'all. I just, I, I love, I love this part. This, this is something I look forward to every week. Um, so I'm going to try to obviously be back next week and yeah, thank you for spending your time with me. I hope that you all go off and be amazingly creative. Like I know that you are tag me if you make something, uh, you know, that you've been inspired by something. Yeah. Share your creations with me on Instagram. That's what I'm saying. Tag me on Instagram. I would absolutely love to see what y'all are doing and yeah. Thank you guys. So I'm going to go off, get ready to go see my daughter and son-in-law uh, and just know you guys are loved and I'll see you soon. Okay, everybody. Bye.